the situation on the ground in the Gaza Strip for uh, two million people. Two million people uh, is absolutely terrible. It's in fact going from bad to worse by the hour. Um, the UN and UNRWA, where I work, is hosting 600,000 people who were forced to flee their homes, and now they live in 150 um, schools, warehouses, clinics. Uh, they have been seeking refuge and protection in those facilities. But we are running out of supplies and we are running out of fuel and we are running out of people. Uh, just this morning, um, we confirmed that 35 colleagues of ours, 35 UNRWA colleagues, have been killed um, during the war, since the war in the Gaza Strip has begun. Uh, half of them were teachers in UN schools. Uh, some of them were killed in the line of duty. Some of them were killed while sleeping in their beds at home with their children. No place is safe. Um, there is in our shelters, uh, which um, are now four, taking four times more than what we were supposed to have because we planned for a much lesser number. Um, the, the conditions are absolutely horrible. For example, uh, there is one place where 400 people share one toilet. So this increases the risks of um, of uh, diseases, uh, of waterborne diseases, including among children, things like diarrhea, but other uh, other diseases. And you're absolutely right. There is no fuel on these convoys, and this is why we set the alarms and we stated that UNRWA that if we do not get any fuel, our operations, our humanitarian operations in the Gaza Strip, where at least 600,000 people rely on us, uh, will come to, to an end. So right now, the UN estimates that there's 1 million people, that's half of Gaza, half of Gaza. This is, imagine the whole of it, Selanriki, being in need of assistance or displaced or kicked out of their houses.